thank you. <laughs> oh, it's Peace, I swear. Get gas there. Hey man, listen up man, it's the ISO guy sensei. Look, in this video, we got some uh, possible 2K21 news, right? You know, so you know, you wanna watch this full video, man. I'm pretty sure a lot of things I mentioned is going to be in 2K21, but before that, I'm gonna need y'all boys to run up that sub count. 240K on the way, so make sure you subscribe if you new, it's free. Make sure you spam up that like button. It's free. It help a nigga grow. You feel me? Spam up the like button. Let's try and get a thousand plus likes. You know, peep the fit, peep the fit. What you rate the fit, my boy, man? I'm looking like a 10, dog. Peep me, man. Got the eye on the back, you know? But look, so I'm gonna show you all my wreck. What, what am I doing? So look, before I get into this video, right? I'm gonna show you all my record and all that. So y'all, I ain't no bot. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah. I'm gonna just start showing my little bot ass record every game, even though I know I don't be on this whole lot. But you know, I be in the stage, bro. And to still have a 94 playing legends, you know, I beat over like 40 legends. I think that's like pretty, like crazy. I don't know. And like comp stage has, I still got a 94.4. That's crazy. But, um, Yo, bro, um, my goal <laughs> is to try to get 3,000 games. Y'all let me know if, if y'all think I could do it, bro. <laughs> but anywho, hey, so so first off, I'm sure y'all have heard about the affiliation, Hoobla, and all this and that. Um, I'm pretty sure Ronnie, I'm not even going to show the clip. I'm pretty sure y'all already seen it. Um, I'm pretty sure Ronnie was talking to Buddy Boy, a Make-A-Wish kid. And, um, you know, the point that they set out was the, the affiliations. And, you know, that's the part Ronnie, like, spoke about. So, you know, we might get some type of affiliations. Who cares? I mean, not who cares, but hopefully, hopefully. Um, but, yeah, I'm not really, that. that's not my main priority. I want the gameplay to be fixed, bro. <laughs> y'all, y'all let me know what's the biggest thing that you would like to see in NBA 2K21 down in the comment section. Now, listen up, man. Uh, a couple weeks ago, LD followed me, okay? LD followed me on Twitter, okay? He asked me to give him a list for dribbling in NBA 2K1, in NBA 2K21, what I want it to be like, okay? Now, y'all drop a like if y'all agree with me, right? So I gave him a novel, my boy, a novel. You know, I'm not gonna read it out or none of that. It's, it's way too much, right? I really broke it down, you know? Um, Basically, what I said was that the dribbling, everyone hates for 2K20. Everyone hates the 2K20 dribbling. Drop a like if you agree. Let me know if you agree in the comments down below. Um, I told him 2K20 dribbling is trash, right? I stressed that point so much. I gave him so many details of why and this and that. And I told him for 2K21, this is what we need. This is what we need. We need the dribbling to be like 15, 16, 17, or 19. But what I suggested is have all of it combined plus new dribble moves, right? You know? And I broke it down to him because a lot of people don't understand. A lot of these stupid YouTubers, a lot of bot people, a lot of people that just lack skill and intelligence and all that. 
I broke it down to him why it's okay to have super fast, quick dribbling, all that crazy shit. You know, you know the little Steezo hit him on top shit. You just spinning around, spin, spin, spin. I broke it down to him, right? I broke it down, you know? Undisputable facts, man. And this is what I said, right? I said, dribbling is not skill. Dribbling don't help people win the game. It's not a massive exploit that's helping people win the game. That pros two stuff that people see this year, that's helping people win the game. That's not ISO or exploiting people do that into screens. You know, that help people use screens better. The hop step is not ISO. Anyone can catch the ball and hop step. Screen users and centers abuse it all the time, all that. I broke it down to him, man. Dribble gods are f***ing trash. I don't care who's listening to this. You guys suck, okay? I, I think 99% of people suck. But my point is, when in comp pro-am, or pro am in general, do you see people being a dribble god? When? When do you see it? Why? Why don't you see it? Think about it, bro. Cause it don't work there. If you play anyone decent, you're getting destroyed. Well, not not probably someone like me. I could do the stuff and get away with it, but majority of people can't get away with it. When you play comp stage, do you see dribble gods? What that means is dribble, being a dribble god is completely for show. It's for show. It does not help you win games. In any year, there was no dribble gods. The, the dribble god, they're not in the comp stage. Well, let, 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 let me say it like this. The meta for the game, they're not being dribble gods. You know, it's quick move or abuse of screens that's all it is quick move comp iso shit iq iso like how i play or it's abuse of screens or it's abuse of screens and fading it's never the dribble god thing in every single year in 15 in 16 in 17 in 18 in 19 and in 20 you do not see people in Pro-Am being a dribble god. In no year, you don't see it in comp stage, okay? You don't see it. So my thing was keep it in the game so the community will be happy, you know? People literally quit the game. People literally quit the game and barely play and they're not as addicted to 2K because of what they did to the dribbling system. Even even all the comp players they hate the 2k20 dribbling system you know he like er, no one really likes it you know so my my whole thing is old heads and little screen abusers they're not gonna quit the game because people can dribble you know but the people that are addicted to the the quick movement the actual having stick skill and stuff they'll quit the game they'll they'll stop playing I said, I said, think about it like this, the quick snipe community back in COD, right? Were people quick sniping in, in, the, in the wagers, in the, in, the, in the actual comp thing? No, it was versus bums. And then when you play bums, either way, you could kill them in one move. Like, like, like it, it doesn't matter. You could kill them in one move or you could kill them in 15, like, Either way, they're getting destroyed. But when you play a good defender, that stuff is, it's gone. And when people really are doing the meta of the game, the meta basically means what works the easiest and the best and most efficient. They're not being a dribble god, okay? It's just for show, bro. People are dribble gods in real life, okay? Yeah? Besides that little spinny stuff, but people actually dribble. 2K16, all that other stuff, those... It's realistic, man. Go outside, bro. People are really dribbling that basketball. Real, you know, they, they, they really shifty, boy. I talked to him about the stamina, the Gatorade, the um, 2K16 Curry hop steps, speed, creates a skill and fun gap. I broke that down to him. 
I told him about the 6'7", 6'10", lockdowns with 99 speed that can just spam. I told him about holding your nuts and um, holding your hands up to nullify ankle breakers. I told him how the ankle breaker balance needs to be. Slow gameplay. Or no, no. Stamina restri restrictions. That means it should be a high ankle breaker ratio and no stamina restrictions, low ankle breaker ratio. Broke it all down to him, my boy. Talk to him about the size ups of 2K17, 16. Talk to him about why there needs to be a huge skill gap and learning gap in the game. Like I, I, I really, I really, I really broke it down, bro. I really broke it down, man. The 2K15 big hezies. You know, I, I really broke it down. He said, this is what he said to me. I'm going to pass all this onto our dribbling producer in the AM, okay? This is what he told me, right? So hopefully in 2K21, we get what we, what we want. ISO community, I, you know, the leader of the Real Nigga Academy has done something for you. Can I get a thanks in the comments? Y'all let me know down in the comments what you would like to see in 2K21. Um, I'm shocked LD followed me and DM'd me and asked me and all that hoobla. Shout out to him for being cool. <laughs> but um, let, let, let's get into this. I want to talk about this too, right? So, Zach Timmerman tweeted out um, a poll about shooting badges, right? And I got a lot to say, my boy. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about shooting badges in NBA 2K20. Now, 19%. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. Z Swanteezy, baby. It's in the description down below. Be sure to follow me on Twitch, too. Get to see amazing gameplay live. But, um, so look. Thoughts on shooting badges. 19% said 2 OP toned them down. 52% said just right. 29% said not effective enough. Now, this is pathetic, bro. This is pathetic. Now, he tweets this out for the future game, obviously. I don't think people caught on. They're not changing nothing for this year. They, they don't care, okay? Y'all are saying just right. Shooting, th 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 this is what I think, okay? It's not just right. It's not this. They're too OP. They need to be toned down. Okay? They need to be toned down. I don't care what y'all have to say. You just ask. Oh, Moses. Christ. Okay? Um, I can barely play and I could green everything on any build. Any build. Green. Machine. I know a lot of y'all have a problem with shooting. But look. Just off the simple fact. That people, again, for another year in a row, can shoot with a 49-3, no quick draw, and two to four shooting badges, and green consistently, is broken, bro. We have builds, six, seven pure locks, pure locks. 30 defensive badges, gods, right? Gods on defense, right? They're very toxic, very, very, very toxic, right? Paint beasts, 30 defensive badges, right? Can green in the corner. You know what this creates? Creates a recipe for disaster. A lot of, a lot of dumb people with low IQ that aren't good at the game, they'd be like, oh, he just has a 49-3. What are you complaining about? He can't ball handle. What are what are you complaining about? Blah blah blah. What are you complaining about? It's not hard to guard him in the corner. What y'all don't understand is a build that has 99 everything that's faster than all guards that can has a stupid high vertical that can finish like a god. Contact dunk. Get clamp up everything, okay? and it can also stretch the floor it ruins the skill gap it diminishes the skill gap they're too op okay now look i know a lot of y'all y'all try to used to get on me oh you just want to dribble all day and iso and look but guess what young swan swan playing lock half the time 
And I'm still telling niggas it's broken. I'm I'm clamping up the best while they pro toing the unrippable glitch. I'm still killing them. I don't even have 30 defensive badges. I'm telling you, lockdowns are broken. Okay, your shooting system should go by not letting these these builds able to shoot paint beast can green in the corner they have 30 defensive badges they can guard ball it just makes the game overall too easy and it makes the no skill bail out builds too overpowered okay so shooting needs to be toned down dramatically but i know that would upset the community because y'all don't want a learning gap y'all don't really want people to stick out bro and um that's just sad. Now, we're going to read a few of these comments. Um, homeboy said, just get rid of quick draw. I see that in the community a lot. I actually like quick draw. I like that quick draw is there. You know why? Because it's less cheesy shooting badges. We got these little brain dead idiots that think they're just gods now, right? Ever since 2K17, boys set a Hall of Fame screen and just take the screen and fade and just say they're the greatest they their egos on a million boy that shit is corny they just stay on the tools all day and just take a hall of fame screen and then they fade and then when they get the mismatch of the guard on the center they make sure that center has 99 rebound and just 99 dunk and all this post hook stuff so he could just baby the guard it's 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 so brain dead it's just it takes the fun out the game there's no more stick skill bro i'm telling you anyone can get on a 30 badge shoot and build or any shoot and build and just take a hall of fame brick wall screen shoot up free boards and fade it's corny bro it takes no skill but I actually like that they have quick draw, and that's one of the reasons why you get less shooting badges. Um, Young Precise says remove pointless badges, plus make them easier to get, make the rating matter more. Yes, the rating should matter more. And um, you know, the pointless badges that get it. Uh Steady Shooter News that needs to go as well as Quick Draw. Launch of 2K20 having everyone shooting 10% from the field was horrible. It was like that because nobody had their badges. People are so stupid. Y'all think they really tweak something? <laughs> but um, Steady Shooter definitely does need to go. But a lot of people, um, here's the deal, deal with Steady Shooter, right? It works. You can green in people's mouth when you're in takeover with Steady Shooter on Hall of Fame. Even if they jump at you and stuff with a, with a 98 contest, whatever. But it doesn't work when lockdown builds are guarded. But either way, it needs to go. It's a bot. It's a bot badge, bro. Exactly. L l listen to this dude right here. King John, can we make my career fun again? Playing my career feels like a chore, right? You let y'all let me know down in the comments down below. If you want to be try harder in my career with the ultimate method, or do you miss the old days on rookie when you scoring damn near 200 points and you getting your badges quick as hell so then you could go play part nobody wants to grind a build for a month for weeks that's corny it's it's it, it's very demoralizing it gives me deep depression <laughs> i said blocked <laughs> Quick draw was invented to prevent non-shooting builds from shooting consistently. I believe it should stay. Facts. Quick draw created a big balance and skill gap. It didn't create. It should be more heavily enforced. Don't have that badge. Don't have the badge shouldn't be rewarded in the shot, in my opinion, to each his own, though. I agree with Sin, but a lot of people don't 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 think like us when it comes to this. Yeah, I agree with Sen on the 25 games. It, it should be 50 instead of 25. Green Machine, cool. It's a bum killer. Very overrated. Um, Here's what I said. Shooting is too easy. 
You got pure locks green in with the 53 with four shooting badges. All post shooting badges need a huge nerf. Ruins the game. I think post scoring should be completely destroyed, bro. Like destroyed. Because it's just abused. There aren't really no real like post scores in the NBA just going crazy doing what people do in this game. And 2K post scoring is, is completely overpowered in the wrong hands, bro. Um, I say no point for ice, pump fake, and slippery, steady toxic, take it out. Um, clarify if diff difficult shots works from three. And when green machine starts working, they never really clarify. You see people like this, they just want the game to be easier. But yeah, how, how do y'all feel about post scoring, bro? I need y'all to follow me on Twitter and really support my tweets, man. Turn on post notifications on there and on YouTube. I, re I really, oh my God, I don't, I don't think they'll ever listen, bro. But bro, people abuse post fades, dog. Like it, it's, it's to another power, bro, because listen, when your shot contest 99, you have 30 defensive badges and you perfectly time and jump in his mouth and he greens in your face or they're green in the center's face like what like like you should be you should have to have a certain amount of distance if someone perfectly times and jumps at you it should never go in no shot should ever go in i don't care what badges you have it should never go in if you can't cre create enough space to get a shot off it, it, it shouldn't go in, bro. You feel me? And th that's how the game should be. It'd be a lot more fun, way bigger skill gap. But yeah, whites definitely go in way too much. But I I'm, I think um, a lot of the times whites are meant to be greens, but they just show up as whites. I, I don't know why. That's just how they want it. Now, let's listen to that black dude. Um, Clutch shooting is a mental thing. Shoot it as such. Eh, I like clutch shooter a little bit. Now, I want to focus on what he said right here. The post badges just encourage cheese. Pure cheese, not actual basketball. It encourages cheese. Like, people trying to exploit it and just, like, like ruin everyone's fun, you know? Um, the post hooks, like, bro, I seen people just, like, post hooking from half court it's it's bad it's just it's so shunned upon that you don't see it a lot but some people really play like that bro and um like they'll pull up on creators and they'll make sure to like pull up and do that post scoring stuff and it's, it's like not a skill bro it should it needs to be like they they want to keep nerfing dribbling and breaking dribbling but like dribbling doesn't help you win games. Being able to green in someone's face when they jump at you helps you win games. Like, I really don't understand this. Like anything that has to do with speed, they they really like, they really crack down on it for no reason. Let's listen to what he says. We really shouldn't be seeing a paint beast with a 47 three point rating get excellent releases make rating have more relevance instead of just good timing on your shot my stretch four with hall of fame shooting badges can't shoot full whites even though it's his archetype blah 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 um, so listen to what this guy says shooting is way too easy get rid of the players under 6'3 shoot faster it's op i don't know too much about that that's pretty much a myth to me but uh that, that's what all the comp people say and um he says and please for the love of god if you have a 50 through 79 three ball you shouldn't let them hit like they have a 99 bro i had an inside big with the 34 three point rating green in my teammates face there's no skill gap at all damn a lot of and, and i also broke it down to ld that that whole catering to the casual community you like you think that's the right thing to do, but it's not. If you casual, if you cater to the creators and the people that are actually good at the game to create a higher skill gap, you create a reason for people to want to get better, to, to respect people, 
to not feel like they could beat them, you know, to and it, it, it just overall it creates a better view of the game, you know. And then, like, if you have all the creators being not as negative as they are every year because there's no skill gap, they'll be pushing that onto their millions and millions and millions and millions of fans instead of, like, every video talking down on the game, you know? And then, overall, that makes them look at the game in a brighter light and all that, you know? And then, overall, everyone has a more positive outlook on the game because you increase the skill gap. And now when people just be like, oh, man, like I suck, blah, 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 you know, and then they get better and it's it's more rewarding. You know, you have to, you have a reason to grind. You know, it's not just you don't feel like something's just unstoppable. You can't stop it. Like they just make shots in your mouth like I, I that stuff makes me want to get off the game. Just just running to the paint, holding square, make it all over me, shoot in my face that that stuff makes me not want to to play 2k and i think that that happens for a lot more other people when someone's just fast and way better than you like it, it might be demoralizing it might it might make you be like man i suck but you feel like you have a chance with that when when people make it in your face you, you ain't got no chance boy but yeah anywho that that's all i had to say make sure y'all subscribe if you new spam up that goddamn like button follow me on all my social media follow me on twitch everything is in the description make sure y'all go to the gym seven days a week drink a gallon of water a day